search results. I just can't get enough of those Akihabara maids! Each cafe's got a particular style, too. The traditional spots give the ones with moe outfits stiff competition. We don't have much time left. Please do what you can to avoid getting sick. If my health is a concern, I should reduce my art supply budgets and increase the amount I spend on food. Excellent. There's the platform. are all so unique. I can see coordinating them wasn't a priority. Well.
All right, level up. Like I stand out too much in there. Lend me your strength. We'll stop them. This 
I'm a... Hey, good job. This isn't quite the same flavor I was told about. It tastes... Hmm... I learned that a person's sense of taste will change as they get older. Is that true? Has it happened to you? I see. It's not like that for everyone, huh? I just can't bring myself to like the flowers here. And I used to like drinking them so much, too. If I don't succeed in my studies, then... Wait, I have to focus. Hi. Your whips are quite difficult to use. Where did you learn how to wield them?
Yes. True that. I've been waiting for you. 
Please be aware that they let us aim for greater heights. This card can only be obtained during an alarm. Let us aim for the top with accessories as well. What do you want to do? Like right here. And here. Master. Oh. See you later.
Hey! Come on. Okay. Not give that shit to my customers. Yo. Okay. You should be grateful. Uh, come again. Hey, thanks for coming in. E yeah.
is kind of interesting. By the way, This is it. Well done. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Um. Yes. Very well. Let us go. Let's begin our beautiful work. something. Indeed. Yes! I can see it. I'll reveal your true form.
Oh, okay. Let's go! I'll reveal your true form. I'll reveal your true form. I will stop them. The entire palace has been rather bizarre, but this room is rather strange in its own way. CRT TV, huh? Talk about old school. Look, it's even got a built-in VCR. Hmm, maybe we've got to watch some TV first? Ugh, I highly doubt that. Actually, there's a chance he's right. There appears to be a tape by the VCR. Well... It appears we don't have any choice but to watch the tape, do we? Of course, it could possibly just be a trap. Nothing's happening. It's making some strange noises. Could it be broken? Do you think we should try whacking it? Uh, please don't. Oh, it's... Playing. Stay on guard, everyone. How are you feeling today, Rumi? Sorry I came empty-handed. 
I've just been so busy with the research lately, I haven't had the chance to pick up any part-time work. I know. I'll buy you flowers the next time I come. Do you remember that wildflower field we used to go to back in high school? You really loved it there, didn't you? Oh, would you prefer if I brought you some snacks instead? Which should I bring? Sweet or salty? I know you like both, so... Actually, I have some news for you today. So first, I've finished my paper. The other thing is... He caught the culprit. He's in police custody now. You don't need to worry anymore. <sighs> my cognitive science is the study of people's hearts and how they guide people's views of the world. Everyone comprehends the world in a different way, depending on their cognition. So basically, if one could tap into a person's cognitive world, one would even be able to alter how that person views reality in every way. That's what my paper's all about. <laughs> Here I am, going way over your head with this stuff, just like always. <sighs> but anyway, I've recently met someone who thinks my research could be fruitful. If everything moves forward as planned, they may even fund my work. At that point, I'd be the first professional scientist in the world. My goal is to find a way to stop crime by putting my research into action. Many of the criminals in this world are deluded to the point of seeing everything through a distorted lens. If I could change their cognitions, it would stop them from committing crimes before they even considered them. And if I were to succeed, the things that happened to you would never happen to anyone else again. <sighs> I want to save you. No. Not just you. I want to save the whole world with my cognitive science. Well, at least I know your family would appreciate it. Takto. Rumi, it's me. Are you alright? Can you talk? Takto. Family. <sighs> my family. Dad. Mom. No. Please! Please don't go! Ah! Rumi! Rumi! It's okay. Calm down. Give them back! Give me my mom and dad! Do you want power? These migraines are... Damn it! Don't worry. Someone's coming to help. I believe it was most likely a post-traumatic episode. Memories of the incident must have resurfaced due to some sort of stimuli, like certain imagery or phrasing. Phrasing? I'm so sorry, Rumi. It's all my fault. Deep down, I knew I could end all crime across the world. It still wouldn't bring your family back. What you truly need is to be set free from that horrible tragedy. But how can I do that? Must seek me. <sighs> what? What was that? Takto, please stop this. I want to forget. Forget? I wish I could do something to... Oh. But wait. By altering a subject's cognition, by changing their heart, any related trauma is eliminated. You must seek me. So, by that logic, all that pain, Rumi's trauma and everyone else's, it can be undone. I shall echo your blasphemous fury with reality, so that we may together change the world. Now, call me forth. Yes, I'll do it. I don't care who you may be. 
lend me your strength. Please, help me save Rumi's life. What was that? Rumi, are you okay? Who... who are you? Rumi, it's me! Um, I'm really sorry, but I don't know who you are. Rumi, what do you mean? I've just gone through surgery. Ever since I was born, I've been unwell. I lost my parents when I was young. So I live with my grandparents in the countryside now. When you were... young? You can't. It's me, Rumi. Don't you remember me? Um, I really am sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to be discharged from here pretty soon, now that I've finished my last round of surgery. I can't wait to see my grandparents again, and show them how well I've recovered. This is... were her memories actually revised? Wait, was that voice really... Um... Are you alright? That's absurd. How could something like... Oh, I mean, it's nothing. I'm just glad you're doing better now. She remembers nothing of the incident. So, Furumi... By the way, what are you doing in my room? How do you know my name? Oh, well, I'm, uh... Sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Another person? Yeah. My... my girlfriend's name is Rumi, too. Really? That's so nice to hear. Yeah. Huh? Looks like I really messed up finding the right room. I really am sorry to disturb you. Um, so I know this might sound odd, but if you'd like to meet again sometime... Thank you for the offer, but... I'm sorry. I'm going to be getting busier than ever soon, so I don't believe we'll be meeting again. Really? But what about your girlfriend? She's... passed away. That's why I won't be coming here anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um... I hope you feel better soon. And I know the people who care about you wish the same. That was... Dr. Maruki, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Based on what we've seen, we can surmise that Dr. Maruki's memory was somehow on that videotape. The way that woman was acting at the end, that's just how it went for me, too. So he rewrote her cognition. Considering what he was saying in the video, that might have been the moment he first awakened to his ability. Could Dr. Maruki possibly have wanted us to watch this memory? Um, I don't think that's the case. It's possible that this is just an old memory he tried to bury in his unconscious mind. Still, if this actually occurred, there's no mistaking it for a trivial memory. This is clearly important to Maruki. Whether for good or bad, it appears that this incident is what led Dr. Maruki to his current mission. You're right.